how to quickly refocus when we get distracted by fear, worry or stress. It happens often that we're going on with our day, everything, everything seems fine and a worry or fear or stress kicks in and we lose track of what we were doing and can't seem to bounce back from it for the rest of the day. Well, today I'm going to tell you four things that you can do to quickly refocus when you get this distraction so you can keep going with your day and achieve your goals faster. and today we're going to talk about these four ways to quickly refocus when we get distracted by fear, worry or stress. Because it happens, we might be doing some work, an activity at home, even playing with our kids and something unexpected happens that throws us off and we don't seem to be able to recover from it. Sometimes it's a thought, a missed call, an email, a worry, Something someone said on the radio or TV, sometimes we don't even know. We just notice we are flying far from where we are and try to come back completely, but we can't. Well, most of these are things that work on our subconscious level. They are triggers, problems and blockages we haven't solved. So, let's go to some ideas you can do to quickly refocus and come back to your activities. First one, worry journal. This is a very useful and pragmatic way of going with it. When a worry comes and you get distracted, try to shorten it down to a sentence. Write it in a journal and schedule it for thought. For example, I am playing with my kid and I suddenly get worried because I can't remember if I attach some important information in an email. So I take my worry diary and write it down. Check attachment to email 8 p.m. How does this solve the problem? It doesn't. But it starts training our mind to know that we have a time for everything. That worry has been scheduled. Now we can focus on building our Lego whatever. Number two, quick action. This is also a method we can use for simple worrying tasks that we can get out the, of the way easily, like check an email and respond OK or turn off the oven. What we want to solve is the worry. So as the example before, I can also pause the game for a minute, give my child something to do for five minutes, five, while I check the email or close the window or turn off the oven and with this I close the worry and then move on with what I was doing. The danger here is that I can lose track and once I check the email I saw there are two new ones and say okay I'll just respond this and once you notice you have been there for one hour and all the Lego pieces are in the toilet. So the only advice here would be act quickly only on the thing that worries you and take only five minutes to solve the problem and get rid of the worry. What I suggest you to achieve with this is coming back to what you, to what, what you were doing. Three, enhance your senses. Something that actually helps us to come back to the present when fear kicks in is, in our, sen is our senses which are the only ones that are always in the now. So, by pulling our senses back in, we will bring our minds back in as well. You can do that by using maybe essential oils, for example. One or two drops of citrus, um, lemony, orange grapefruit, or soothing like or peppermint eucalyptus pine in your hands rub them together and get them close to your face close your eyes for one minute breathe or take three deep breaths this will help your mind to refocus on the smell and you can keep going with your life afterwards 
You can also try with your other senses, a song that really pumps you up. Brew up a cup, a cup of your favorite infusion. You can even have a vision board around your work, workplace or your home and give yourself a couple of minutes to be with it. Four, energy releasing activities. Another way to let go of this is switching to an activity that can help you release the energy that is stuck within that fear, stress or worry. Exercise, meditation, tapping are the examples of activities that you can take for 10-15 minutes and make a huge difference in the way that you perceive those distractions, helping you refocus on yourself. In the end, it is actually asking ourselves if we can do something about the fear, worry or stress that has come up, if we can, then either to do it straight away or schedule a time for it to happen so we don't have it stuck in our mind forever. And understand that if we cannot do anything to change it or solve it, we need to let go, refocusing our senses, thanking our mind for making us aware of it, but sending that thought or fear back to where it belongs. That will be the only way to actually move on. If you think you need further guidance on the different strategies to use or you want my help to get rid of those worries, fears and stress, you can click on the link below on the description of this video and get in touch directly with me to book a session where we can talk about your specifics and I can show you the options I have available to help you. Also, you can uh, subscribe to this channel and every time that I have a video, you will get a notification. Looking forward to seeing you around. This is Ana Saloma from Mumbai Holistic, stress and anxiety healing expert and spiritual life coach. Bye.